everybody, it's Aaron Gaming Corporate, and welcome back! Yeah, I got an episode of Undertale for you. I was actually out all day, I was um, getting something. <laughs> now, I ended up picking up something for my girlfriend, because she's going to be doing something. It's a surprise, I know, she doesn't know what it is, so I mean... I mean, I already told her I was going to get her something, so it's not like I'm just... If she sees this episode, she's going to know what it is, but... um, uh, Yeah, I just closed the box, by the way, it's... It's a loud box. Um, but yeah, I just went out, got her something, and then I bought some shoes. So it's like, what, maybe 4 o'clock right now? So I'd say it's about good evening, you know? Good evening, everybody. Yeah, welcome back to Aaron Gaming Corporate, and we're playing some more Undertale again. Uh, and we're just gonna continue where we left off. I think we talked to, to Goat Mom, I think, or maybe we haven't. I don't remember. I think we stepped out to save, I think. <laughs> So, someone wanted me to do this, by the way. So, I'm gonna keep using the mirror. No. Well. Maybe that's for a different run. <laughs> well, we're gonna check out Toriel's room later. But we're gonna check out this one. Look at all these cool toys. <laughs> I mean, they don't really interest me, but hey, you know, they're pretty cool. Nevertheless, you know what I'm saying? Giant dresser. It's an empty photo frame. It's really, really dusty. Well, that suggests that this is a room that has not been come into for a while. Oh. A box of kids' shoes and a disparity of sizes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we'll come back to this later. I like the music for here though, this is nice. It's Soriel's diary. Read the circled passage? I mean, fuck it, sure, why not? I, mean, I don't know who she is, but I'm rummaging through her shit like it's mine now. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling... ...bonely. There's the pages full of jokes of similar caliber, gotcha. I got you. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. <laughs> it's bigger than a twin size. Okay, I got you. It's an encyclopedia of in uh, subterranean plants. Uh, you open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown uh, oblong seed pods. Oh, these are now coming as water sausages. Like, okay, is that the only? Okay, it's the only... Okay. Typha. <laughs> Water sausages. Peek inside. Scandalous. It's her sock drawer. Damn, what a savage this kid is, dude, for real. The cactus, man. It's really the most sunder of plants. And we have no comment on this one. We don't give a shit about that one. It's her small chair. Small chair. Cheerio. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Just a regular old bucket. Uh, of, of snails, okay. Can't go into the other room, which is kind of unfortunate. It would have been kind of cool if you were able to go into that room. These books are worn. I must have been like many times. No. Yeah, I don't know why I keep thinking if I step to the left just a little bit, it'll, it'll look it'll, it'll say something different. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 10-1-X, so I guess it's like up to you to decide whatever date this is. I have no comment on any of that stuff. And the tools have been filed down to make them safer. <laughs> it's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier of fearful and further human attacks who retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our kind was, uh, as, king, uh, as great as our king was, he was pretty lousy at names. Oh, well, it's home, I guess. Home is home, right? Fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. Wow, okay. Some kind of strange goat magic she's pulling here. I don't trust this goat magic. 
For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. What? Okay. There's some white fur stuck in it. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's gotta suck when you think about it. Imagine eating food, you always get like... Why well, she has hairballs? That kinda suck. Inside the cupboards, there are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. Oh, that's unfortunate. The stuff is very clean. Toril wants to use fire magic instead. I like how that's my suggestion is, is literally straight to magic. I just I'm automatically assume that she uses magic, you know? Hello there, little one. The pie has not cooled down just yet. Perhaps you would like to take a nap. Uh, yeah. Sure, I'll take a nap, I guess. I mean, I've been on my feet. I hit my head on the way down, probably hallucinating all this shit, and I'm gonna wake up next to a skeleton or something in the middle of a cavern, but hey. Oh. Oh, you'd rather stay up and chat with me, then? Oh, okay, I, I didn't mean to. I just thought I was gonna automatically teleport, okay. Uh, I want to know how glad I... Oh, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's... There's so many old books I want to share. don't want to share. Ugh. <laughs> I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. Jesus Christ, this chick's like it's like, sad. It's like hostage now. I'm fucking hostage, basically. Uh, this may come to you as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't a very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, d did you want something? What is it? Uh, I guess nothing right now. Okay, cool. I'll talk to me again if you need anything. Sure. Goat Mama's just like holding me. I'm just like here now. Like I fell into a hole. It wasn't my intention to be like raised by a goat mom, but I'm raised by a goat mom now. So I mean, hell, I can't complain. It's a goat mom, you know. I want to go back to bed. Yo, I found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie, boy. I guess time of day, I guess day and night doesn't matter down here. I'm actually surprised how well lit everything seems to be, which is odd when you think about it. She's still fucking reading. Oh, hello. Oh. Ugh, that's not my chest is being annoying. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Well, I mean, I noticed that you like snails, so fuck it, you know, sure, why, why not, you know what I mean? Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Radula? I'm gonna say radula. How to exit the ruins. Like, so what's, it's like, what, look at that sentence and just be like, interesting. How to exit the ruins. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Well, bother me if you need anything else. You got any other interesting goat facts for me? Nothing. No, I just want more goat facts. Give me some goat facts, damn it. Ah, oh, whatever. How do I leave this wretched land? I have to do something. Stay here. Oh, I just noticed her mouth moves. <laughs> yeah, she just literally fucking dodged that question as fast. Uh, what the hell's his name? The guy I made fucking... Uh, Sean Murray. I think Sean Murray is his name. Dodging fucking questions. Oh wow, what a what a shift of tone that was. Death. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Yeah, this, is, this is literally some sadistic fucking child kidnapping shit right here, dude. It's like the kind of shit you see on, like, Dateline. <laughs> Yo, she's literally turning into fucking, like, Slender and playing fucking Slender now. Pick it up a note. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only, I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Well, if I do, it doesn't matter. There's no game progression, so I want to go this way. <laughs> There's no game progression if I do that. 
Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Bitch, you're not the boss of me. I'm an independent child who ran away from home. Why do you think I'm down here in the first place? I ain't about to be confined in these nice walls and humble pie. I'm not gonna about to, like, not hot fireplace. You know, I'm not gonna deal with that bullshit. I'm a free, uh, person. You want to leave so badly? Hm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. I must kill you. I must slay you. <laughs> do do Oh shit! <laughs> Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. So now Toriel wants to fucking fight me, and she's gonna kill my ass. All right, I'm gonna talk to you. How was your day? I couldn't think of a real good conversation topic because of the heat of the moment, and now that like, Goatman wants to fucking slay me. But I mean, you know. Oh shit. Oh boy, I'm already fucking losing. I'd so love to use WSA India. I'm I am ass when it comes to using the arrow keys. So bad at it. All right, I, I I tried to think of something to say again, but like, you know. Whoa! Ah, ah. Oh, oh, god damn it! <laughs> Tor is acting aloof. Look, mate. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the best solution in this situation. It is my ah, uh, my holy fucking <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> What's use a spider donut, man? That shit tastes. I don't know, it's made of spider ears. Ay, 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 rip. Oh my god, I'm like total ass with this right now, dude. Ah, okay, I did it! You did it! <laughs> Appear, uh, she's preparing a magical attack. I I'm just like imagining her flying into the air and just like casting some giant super spell that's about to blast my ass right now, dude. She's saying dot, 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 motherfucker. Uh oh, 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 fuck. Okay, I think we're good. She's looking through me. You can't look through me. I'm not transparent. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> okay, we're good. She's questioning me. Like, I don't want to kill you, goat mom, alright? I, I have the infinite power of 50,000 beings. I can slay you. And I won't feel bad about it. Ah, you fucking bastard! <laughs> What are you doing? What are you-, what are you Hey, oh, stop using this- this cheap-ass ability on me! You can't look through me, I don't exist. Oh! 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. You ain't preparing shit. Oh! Oh my god! Oh fuck! <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm fucking dog shit at this, man! Oh my- Ah, I hate these arrow keys. I'm so bad at these arrow keys, man. I just really wish I could use WSD. It's just... Oh. 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 Ah! Okay. You you stop it. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> okay. Ah. Hey, 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 hey! Oh my fucking god. I'm getting... Uh, Christ. <laughs> No, 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 <laughs> okay, I don't have anything to say me anymore, dude. Oh, my holy goddamn bullshit, fuck me. Oh, okay, thank god, finally. Holy, <laughs> this is like the first boss and I'm getting my fucking ass beat, man. Oh, god. Um, <clears throat> I know you want to go home, but I'm sparing you. Please, go upstairs now. Look, Toriel, you almost killed me like about four times already. I don't, I don't think like this is the time to start telling me to go anywhere. I promise I'll take good care of you. Here. I forgot to hear. I just got a text. Oh man, my freaking chest. Ugh. I like gas on my chest right now, dude. I know we can. Ugh. I know we do not have much, but. No, I'm sparing you, dude. We can have a good life here. Yo, that's creepy, actually. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. I don't want to go upstairs. <laughs> uh, pathetic, is it not? I cannot... Oh, I cannot save even a single child. You're not saving anybody. You mean, you can't save me. I'm, I'm, I can't die. That's the thing. Well, I mean, I can die, but I can't die? Yeah. 
No, I, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will not put them aside. I will put them aside. Ay, fuck me. If you surely wish to leave the ruins, I'll not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh, thanks for the hug, goat mom. Goodbye, my child. I'm like literally covered in fucking like burn marks. I'm bleeding out to death right now. I just ate some pie. I got like food dribbling out of my face and I'm like on the ground twitching. To, like that's what it, I'd imagine that's what it'd be like. And then she disappears from the game completely. I don't like ever see her until like way later. Oh, oh, I'm back. All right, here we go. Let's see what let's see what shithead has to tell me. Cause I know he's gonna pop up here in a second. I just run like a pimp. Look at that. Look at that strut, man. Holy shit. Oh, what a fucking legend. I didn't even realize how long have I recorded this for. Eh, whatever. Clever, very clever. You think you're real smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. I I've seen the memes. I've seen the memes. So you're able to play your own rules, huh? You spare the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel real great, don't you? You didn't kill anybody this time. But <laughs> what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until... You tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up an entire oh would you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this fu world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. It is so much more interesting. Yeah, yeah, whatever, you little piece of shit. Fuck off. Now, if only I could just lay a fucking turd right here. Oh, that'd be great. I'd, I'd literally, I'd pay money for that shit, dude. I'd drop a fucking steamy hot shit right here. Can I go anywhere else? Oh, that would've been cool. You could just go somewhere else. That's a cool entryway. Like, imagine designing that. It looks fucking cool. God, that part reminds me of, uh... A game I played only if dude, uh, that game was pretty fun. I might replay that game. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe not, I won't. Might not. I might not record it. But I, I want to try to play. I want to play that game again. Uh, it was a fun game. Whoa! Hey, oh, what the fuck? There's a camera here. <laughs> okay, some kind of secret watch. Uh, some slender shit right here, dude. Now, I think if you walk back now, you can see Flowey last second, I think? Or maybe he's not... He, no, I think it's... I think I had to keep going forward. I, I have done this part already. I haven't played anything further than, I think, meeting Sans, but... Um, or Sans, or... Or the fuck you want to say it. Uh... But I did, I do remember, um, doing, I did do this part before. I want to talk to Sans first, and then I'll, I'll turn around, because I believe that's, um, the part. <laughs> Here he comes. I like the game just, like, takes this fucking shift, this little twist of events, and then, bam, it goes straight into, like, some other bullshit. Human. I just like slowly turn around like who the fuck? Uh, strangest sounding whoopee cushion I've ever seen. The old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. Wait a second. Have you heard that one before? You turned around before I said to. Weird. Whatever. You're a human, right? I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, 
I don't really care if I catch anybody. Not my brother, Papyrus. <laughs> he is a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through the gate, thingy. Uh, yeah, go, go right through there. M my bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Yeah, that is a very, <laughs> very conveniently shaped lamp. Hey, what's up, bro? You know, you know what, sup, brother? <laughs> it's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Well, I'm staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. And then, I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I'll finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my... friend. I'll bathe in the shower of kisses every morning. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, are you- you're not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit and bone doggle. You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. Alright, I've got a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it! <sighs> Why does somebody as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Hey! Ugh! I'll attend to my puzzles. As for your work, just put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay. You can come out now. Well, Jesus Christ, that was, um, that was kind of awkward. I'm not going to lie, that was pretty awkward. Huh. Anyway, yeah, let's... <laughs> you ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of his hilarious jokes. True. I'm going to go this way real, real quick for no reason. Actually, hey, I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you just might make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Alright, oh. Hey, the music definitely changed from the death. <laughs> I've heard this way too many times. Let's see if we can spot a random flower cre- ooh, flower creature. Random flower creature? I must have- I must have missed it. Oh! There it was! Alright, now I can go. <laughs> uh, I- I just wanted to see it. I, I had to see it. Again. Cause I- I noticed- I, I know some of the other locations I think you can see them. I don't know if I want to pause the episode here or stop it. I don't know how long I've been recording for. I came back around like four, five, maybe. I don't know. Uh, well, let's see. We fought, we fought Goat Mom, and then we talked to Sans, and we listened to Papyrus rant about how he's the greatest and he's going to be the greatest, and no one can get in his way. Uh, I'm assuming that might have taken a good amount of an episode. I mean, I could just pause real quick and check how long the video is. I mean, if, if, if I feel like it's as long as a normal episode, I'll just stop right now and then come back to it a little later. Yeah, but anyway, hey, thanks you guys for watching. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm probably, probably going to record another one tomorrow, or I might record the same episode later. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.